we invite you to join us on a little known journey through the waterways of North America. My name is Nairi Carline. My name is Ian Carline. These waterways are extensive in both the USA and Canada. North American history is linked to these waterways with the development of trade, commerce, rebellion, migration and the very prosperity through history revolved around waterway access and the canal systems. All are linked and interdependent on these waterways. Some of these canals go back 170 plus years. Some were the arms race of their day, built for both strategic defence and commerce. The boat's name is Nan, a 46 foot mahogany twin engine launch with two Detroit diesel engines, developing 150 horsepower each. Nan was built in New York in 1937. This makes her 70 years old. We first got involved with Nan after she was used in a movie filmed in Florida. The movie was called Absence of Malice, starring Sally Field and Paul Newman. In 1984, Nairi and I took Nan from Florida through the intercoastal waterway to the Chesapeake, then on up to the Delaware Canal and down the Delaware and on to New York and Cape Cod via the East River and Long Island Sound, Newport, Rhode Island, and then on to Nantucket. We spent the summer of 1984 in New England and took the boat back down to Virginia for the winter. Our son turned one on Nan in 1984 we were then offered the use of Nan for this trip. We start our journey in Yarmouth, Maine. Nan was stored just off the Royal River. We took her down through the Cape Cod Canal, onto Woods Hole, Martha's Vineyard, Oyster Harbours and Osterville. We then rounded Martha's Vineyard, stopped at Block Island, Long Island itself and down the East River, rounding Manhattan Island and on up the Hudson River to Albany, New York and Troy. Troy is where we join the Champlain Canal. This is part of the New York Canal System. Uh, this canal follows a fault line up through to Lake Champlain and then on down to Canada and the Richelieu River. St. John's Richelieu in Canada is where we join the Richelieu Canal System and we carry on down the Richelieu River and the parallel canal system that takes us down to Sorrel where we join the St Lawrence Seaway. Sorrel is the junction between the Richelieu River and the St Lawrence Seaway. We tra travelled from uh, Sorrel up to Montreal uh, where we stopped. We then entered the St Lawrence Seaway lock system which took us up to the Ottawa River. The Ottawa River has a number of locks on it uh, which takes us up to Ottawa itself where we, where we climb the eight locks from the Ottawa River up to Ottawa itself and join the Rideau Canal System. Now this canal system is extensive and very old and historic. It still uses the original machinery. The original machinery on the canal has been maintained and uh, uh, serviced over many, many years. So, uh, much of it goes back over a hundred years. The old cast iron uh, fittings and wheels and racks and uh, uh, winches that operate the system. The gates are replaced on a, a regular basis. Uh, on reaching Kingston, we then uh, joined Lake Ontario. Now, Lake Ontario is a massive body of water, part of the Great Lake system. Uh, we then travelled from Kingston through to Trenton where we joined the Trent 7 waterway. Now this takes, takes us through uh, up into Georgian Bay through many many locks and some of them are very very interesting with uh, lifts of up to 60 feet on, in some cases. Having reached Georgian Bay we then uh, travelled back down through the Trent 7 waterway system to Lake Ontario where we crossed to Oswego and joined the uh, New York Canal System and the section that we joined there was Oswego, uh, the city of Oswego itself. We then travelled up into the Erie Canal. Now this year that we were there there was a lot of hurricane damage and a lot of the locks have been badly damaged and the dams have been badly damaged so the section that took us back down to Albany was closed and we spent the time in the Finger Lakes and the, uh, the functional section of the 
uh, Erie Canal system. The boat was left on the Finger Lakes for the winter uh, to continue our journey next year. We're just passing through Hushy Sound and we're doing 5.2 knots across the ground. Conditions are very calm, Vis visibility is not that great and uh, Hushy Sound is about five miles from the port of uh, South Portland, so that's South Portland, Maine. You can see a fishing boat seeking shelter from the storm that's about to uh, strike us. We're just at the port of Biddeford behind Wood Island. <laughs> 